Hi, I'm uh, Trevor Carter, Head of Planning, Development and Housing here at uh, Newcastle Borough Council. We're standing in Chapel Street in Nutton, which is where some of the refurbishments are being carried out, very much concentrating on returning all the special features that were there in the 19th century. Here, th these are some of the best of their type. They were, these were built, apparently, um, by the builder um, John Nash Peak to actually sort of showcase the, um, the products that they were making. It was a, a brick company and you can see the details on here in the uh, in the walls and on the top by the guttering and so on and the work that's been done here supported by English Heritage and Renew and the council has returned all the features of the windows the boot scrapers the uniformity of the doors and so on and it really is a fantastic example of what this sort of housing can be like. I'm Darren Green, Senior Regeneration Manager for Aspire Housing. Uh, Aspire Housing is the main uh, delivery agent that works on behalf of Renew North staffs. Uh, our main involvement within the Norton and Cross Heath area, uh, there was early recognition that there was essentially too much social housing with this area, uh, which uh, contributed towards uh, large-scale antisocial behaviour issues uh, within the Norton and Cross Heath area, hence uh, the, the, the requirement for intervention uh, within this particular location. We're on the, on the Lower Milehouse estate. Uh, we're actually standing on, on a cleared land site at the minute in terms of uh, the, the clearance programme for the Lower Milehouse estate where we're clearing 166 properties. In the background, we have the new Mill Rise development. The development itself is a 60 apartment scheme linked to a PCT uh, development, uh, which is basically the, the residential sides available for social housing and shared ownership. Um, throughout the whole of the area in terms of clearance, environmental improvements and, and uh, other issues we've been involved with, there's been around about £6.5 million pounds spent over the last four years in this area. There's going to be a lot more new housing. And that new housing, that's going to be the first phase. And following that, we're going to have some new development on this area where um, about 180 of the houses will come out. And then the houses that are left here are then going to form part of a, of a new of a new development with a layout that's more suitable to modern needs, for instance the fact that people mostly have cars these days, and it's going to have a variety of offers of housing. So what it's going to be in the future is mixed. There's going to be some private housing here and some shared ownership and across the road there, next to the extra care, there's going to be a mixture, social housing, shared ownership and private housing. In the end, there might be as much social housing as there was to start with, but it'll be mixed throughout the community. The development adjoining the extra care, we're hoping that, that development should be able to start there sometime next year. It could be then 10 years before the whole of this is completed. The idea is to raise the whole profile of Cross Heath and get that community pride and so on back into it. And so people drive through here, they live here and they say this is a place to be reckoned with.